<laughs> you went to NWA, it was still the NWA at that point, before Ted Turner bought it in 1988. At the time, Dave Meltzer, and this is in uh, late 1989, described the continual fall of WCW and the NWA over the past year and said about Dusty Rhodes' final days in charge of creative. So here's the quote. Virtually all the same mistakes over the fall quarter of 1988 uh, when Dusty Rhodes nearly totally sabotaged the group and left it for dead are occurring today. What do you think that Dave Meltzer means when he says that Dusty Rhodes was intentionally trying to kill, sabotage the company at the end? Is that the way you remember it in eighty eight? Uh, right at the time it was getting ready to switch over. We didn't know that until like right beforehand, but you could sense that it was different. You know, like it, it, anytime I travel over, over, whether it's Canada or Europe or somewhere, as soon as I get off the plane, I can tell it's not America anymore, right? It's all modern, it's all great, but it's just, it doesn't, there's something that's different about it. In those last six, seven, eight months of, of the NWA, excuse me, there was something different. My recollection of Dusty's booking at the time was it had grown tired because everything was at the time. If you go back and watch the tapes, as soon as the action starts picking up, whether it's a tag team match on a hot tag or the baby face starts making a comeback, just when the action starts to pick up, everybody would stand up and go <laughs> and return to the entrance. So they knew somebody would be running in mm. and uh, had to get clear of a message there. Um, and, and so at the time, there was a lot of conversation in the dressing rooms about uh, Dusty's hot shotting it again, right? And at the time, as far as his character went, every time somebody got loosely popular, Dusty would be there with them. Remember, he's out there with the, the uh, 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 road warriors, face painted, Sting, face, somebody's out there with Sting face painting. And he's doing, each time he would do that, it, it would seem to us in the dressing room that he was doing that to get himself over alongside of them, but to push himself sort of in front of them. And that was like the criticism of Dusty's booking at that time. Uh, and let's face it, like I've talked about before with uh, Paul Heyman, you know, uh, for anybody that's ever done anything creatively, whether you write poetry or you're a writer or, you know, you write music uh, or you're a wrestler and creating facets to your character and storyline, nobody has a bottomless well of creativity. Creativity can wane and ebb uh, up and down, but uh, typically once it dries out, once it's bone dry, it's not if you take six months off, it'll come back here. It just really never comes back fully. And I think at this time with Dusty's booking, uh, it, it was showing that his, his well was getting close to the bottom. I don't remember ever hearing the discussion about sabotage, uh, it just seemed in the dressing room at that time, uh, he was past his time. Like, like he had had some pretty prodigious years and it was time for somebody else. But the question was at that time, who is that somebody else? Who's that next thing? Uh, because it, you know, again, in, in 40 plus years in wrestling, I can probably name three, four, possibly five. If I really dug deep guys that I thought that were fantastic at that creativity um, and you know, demonstrated for an ample amount of time. Uh, they all have their big years, and then either time passes by, the booking no longer makes sense, that style, uh, or uh, for some of them, like one, you know, wrestling when done well always will try to wrap in current events. And, you know, again, we I talk about contemporary lens, and wrestling done well always looks to that contemporary lens. And oftentimes, you said, with Bill Watts at the end of his booking, you would see him doing stuff they did in the like 50s, 60s, or early 70s. Problem was it was mid 80s, <laughs> and uh, you know, so I, you know, it's, I, but I don't remember hearing uh, people thinking that Dusty was sabotaging. 